I'm gonna get up way too quickly. All right, today I'm gonna drink beer and teach you how to play a game. The game is called Yao Sai Zong, but I think there's also another name, right? What's the other name? Da Hua Zai Shai. I don't remember. Da Hua Shai. There's a couple of that. Yeah, I think there's like four or five different names for this game, uh, depending on where you are in China. So basically, it's a it's a dice game. Everybody has a cup like this with five dice. But first thing first, let's clean my cup. It's kind of a custom here that you clean your beer cup with beer and then you just pour it to the ground. Now my cup is clean, let's drink. Cheers. Cheers. Now this game is pretty much played everywhere in China where they serve alcohol. Nightclubs, bars, restaurants, and even street barbecue places like here. You might have seen it in one of my previous videos where I end up in a Chinese club. If you haven't watched this video, I recommend that you click somewhere here to check it out. It's an interesting video to give you an idea of the Chinese nightlife and you see a lot of people playing this game. So as you can see here, people behind me are also playing. There's people playing at this table over there. Everybody's playing this game. It's the most popular drinking game in China. And so I'm gonna show you how it works. I thought I'd show you this game because I think it's a really cool drinking game and it's really simple and it's fun and you can kind of play mind games with your friend and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of a, a mix of poker, dice and drinking game. It's really cool. So all you need is basically Basically is, is a cup and five dice for each people who are gonna play and I would say the more the better then you need booze tonight is gonna be Qingdao beer but it could be anything as long as it gives you a little feeling and you get tipsy over time because then that's when the game changes then the last thing you need especially if you're playing in the noisy environment is knowing the hand signs for numbers so that you don't need to speak loud or scream in order for the people you play in with to know what numbers you're saying. I really suggest to check, click here to check. I made like a short little video to explain to you how you can count up to 10 with only one hand and that becomes really handy when you're playing this game. No pun intended. So the rules are super simple. First you shake the cup like this. Then you check your numbers. And based on the numbers you have and the number of people around the table, you have to guess how many of a certain number there is on the table. So in my case, I have two fours, two one, and one six. Now, the one counts as a kind of a joker, so you can use it as any number. So basically, it's like I have four, four. By counting the number of people on the table and the number of dice, I have to guess how many fours there might be on the table. So the best is to start low. So the first number I show is how many dice I think there is. The second number is the number on the dice. So let's say I say there are three fours and then the person next to me has to up the ante. He has to either increase the number of dice or increase the number on the dice. So let's say I said there are three fours, he has to say at least three fives or four fours. And then the next person has to up the ante as well and it goes up and up and up until one person decides that he doesn't believe what the previous guy said. So let's say it goes back to me, I'm saying seven four, and my friend Lele here doesn't believe me so he's gonna say I don't believe you I want to see the dice everybody has to show their dice if there are seven fours or more then I win he has to drink his cup if there are less than seven four then what I said was not true so he called my bluff and I have to drink so basically this game is like kind of a mix of of a guessing game because you don't really know what the other people have but also a bluffing game because you can pretend that you have something that you don't really have I know it's a little bit complicated when I explain it like this but I'm gonna play and you're gonna see how it 
how it works when we're together. And by the way, there's like three more friends that just joined us, so it's going to be a good game. Watch. <laughs> so apparently we're playing counterclockwise. Chiga-san. Okay. Chiga-san. Chiga-san. I have to either say or at least 8 threes or 7 four. So, Chiga <laughs> He said seven six. Eight three. Joga Nine four. P. 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 So when he does this and says P. It means he doesn't believe me, what? so I need to show my dice. I said two. nine fours. So I got three, he's got two, so that's five. Here we have one more, that's six. And here's one more, that's seven. Seven four is less than nine four, so I have to drink. Now, it varies because people play with different rules, but usually when you don't believe what the last person said and you want to see the dice, you will say kai, which means open up. But in this case, he said p, and p actually means fart or bullshit. And usually when people use p, it doubles the gamble, which means I was supposed to drink half of a cup, but because he said p, then I'm supposed to drink the full cup. <laughs> And then we start again. We will now stop the game for a little musical break and we'll be right back. We have this guitar player that came by. So they actually negotiated to borrow her guitar and he's gonna play. What the? Yeah. Now there's another rule to take into consideration is that because we're using the one as a joker, the minimum number of dice we should start with is two more than the number of people. So right now there's five of us playing. So the minimum we should start with is seven of something. So it could be seven three, seven two. That's the minimum we should start with, and then it must go higher from there. Now, another thing to take into consideration is that we're using the one as a joker. You don't have to. Uh, that's the way I've learned the game. I know some people play without it. There's different rules, like I said. But because we play the one as a joker, if one is the number I choose, like for example, I could say there are seven ones, then from the moment I said that, one is no longer a joker, unless someone doubles the number I said. Unless somebody says 14 twos or 14 threes. There's also one more rule, is I can say, I think there are seven threes on the table, but I don't want to count the one. So I do tsai. So I remove the one. So from that moment, everybody has to count like the numbers without considering the one. The one just remains one. All right, let's play some more. Let's play another round. I'm sure you'll get to understand more and more. Whoa, wrong side. There you go. Now, as I was filming this, I realized that making a video on how to play this game is a lot more complicated than I thought. It's actually a simple game to play and even to learn, but to make it in the form of a video? E. <clears throat> Anyways, I hope I did a good enough job and you understand how to play it, but if ever you want to play with your friends, and I really recommend it, it's super fun, and my video was not clear enough, 
You'll find in the description below a link to my Facebook page where I'll post a short kind of bullet point guide and list of rules on how to play this game. So hopefully that'll be enough for you to give it a try. All right, let's get back to this. One, two, <laughs> That's an expert. He defies gravity. So here Lele got five different numbers, so it allows him to shake his dice again because this is considered as not fair, not cool. Let's shake it again. Are they better now? Yeah, trouble though. So now we have an extra player, so we must start at eight. Bag R. No, So now we're six. He wants to play with fancy rules to make it harder, so we start at nine. Three more than the number of people. Joga R. Tsai. 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 Oh my god. Tsai. Hey. Right away, she doesn't believe me. She doesn't have one. I have three. There's no. There's one, so it's four. There's none. There's two, so it's total. Total is six. Come on. I lost. Yeah. Okay. Give me that. Lily. P. He said 11 5. I only have one. He has four. So that's five. That's eight. That's 11. That's 15. <laughs> That's like 20. Okay. WC. Yeah. Okay. 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 I really gotta step my game up, or else I'm gonna get <laughs> up way too quickly. No, <laughs> you <laughs> Yeah, that's another rule that some people add to spice it up. If you make some dice fall off the table, for every dice you drop, you have to drink one cup. So in her case, she dropped two dice, two cups to drink. So basically, he's accepting half of the responsibility. He's a gentleman, so he's drinking one of the two cups. Joga R. Joga Joga San. I don't know actually. You broke the rhythm. It was going so fast and then. Sigo. I think I'm gonna go for 12 twos. So she doesn't believe me. So there's one, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. This one is eight, nine, ten. ten. 12 plus 5 17 Oh, uh, ni ha ta He's a gentleman again. He's drinking her loss. She dropped all of her dice. What a clumsy lady. Chabudo. <laughs> okay. Ah. <laughs> All right. 
I think I'm gonna stop the video here before the game gets too crazy. And I guess I'll catch you in another...